<laughs> so I was in a bit of a pickle the other day. I was working on an electro swing track, it was sounding cool, but there was just something slightly off about it. And it took me a week's holiday and not listening to the track whatsoever to come back and realize something was horribly wrong with it. I could tell straight away it was my old swing sample that was in the mix. So I sat down and figured out how I could get this old swing sample in tune with the rest of my track. It was in key and it was, I guess it was in tune, but it wasn't exactly in tune. Like, So I had the semitones right, I just didn't have the sense. And that can play a real crucial part to making sure that your track sounds good. Yeah, I, I figured it out and now I know what to do and now I'm going to show you guys. Anyway, let's 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 dive into it. This is showing you how to hopefully tune your your old school sample so they're in key with all your electronic other shit that's in the song. Yeah. Okay, so for this example, I was working on this tune. I'll just mute the swing sample for a minute. And I had this swing sample in the background. And together they sounded like this. So I kind of use a mixture of um, mucking around with the synth, um, playing notes over the top to figure out that this was also an F sharp. this so even playing it it's so even playing it back with a synth laid over the top of it you can kind of hear that something's not quite right and that is the sense we don't know how much to increase it or decrease it by so that's what we're gonna figure out doing it by air if you can do it you're the man but like uh, it's difficult it is difficult so load up just a stock resonator I think get it to F sharp which is the key of um, our song that we're jamming in at the moment and also the key of the sample I think so we know that the resonator is perfectly in tune we just need to match the old sample and get the resonator resonating essentially and here is the tough part okay so we've got F sharp which is the key of our song we've got the spectrum and now we go back into the sample oh this is gonna be a bitch actually we, oh. actually we don't need the EQ we won't be able to see it oh no okay anyway yep and this is where your ear comes into play <laughs> So you want to crank up or down the sense and where your track resonates the loudest it will be in key. So we're looking for we're listening for the loudest point. And go down a bit. Okay, that's resonating crazy amount. So I have a feeling that is going to be in key. We'll turn off the resonator. We don't need that now. I'm just holding down F sharp. Oh, so much better. Okay, so what did we originally have? Zero. Simple. Now with the song. Hold. See, we've gotten used to the perfectly, well, not perfectly in tune, but the in tune version of the sample when we just resort back to zero sense, no difference. It kind of sounds. Ugh. It's not quite sitting right with the rest of the track. We up it to 34 cents. So much better. And yeah, once you've done that, take remember 34 cents. Select all these and then change them up to 34 cents. You're changing the tune of all your other samples and then it's just gonna be in key for the rest of your track. Woo! It's a fairly simple technique. First off, you need to find what key your sample is in, and you can just muck around with a synth over the top of it, listen to what notes work best with it, or just look it up on Google, online, whatever. 
If that doesn't work, resort to Spectrum. If any notes kind of stand out, figure, move your mouse around and figure out what key they're in. And yeah, Resonator is your friend. You know how everybody's like, oh, you got too much resonating frequencies in your track, you need to kind of cut them out. Well, in this case, the Resonator actually helps.